Here we are in a glorious spring morning in May and we're looking at trying to make the uh, greenhouse more accessible. John's equipment there. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> here, here we have um, hey! Paul being pushed in the wheelchair. Oh dear, there is a barrier to his entry in the greenhouse. But fortunately, Carolyn is here to show us how we can overcome this. Hold on, let me see that one. <laughs> As you can see, this works fully functioning at the moment. Yep, yep. However, right, well, we've got two nuts here and here. And we'll just unloosen those. Take off the centrepiece. And here are the uh, wheelchair user who's been desperate to have a look inside the greenhouse. He's in. Go straight in. Uh, are we are ready to plant him. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Stick your feet in and we'll give him a bit of compost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Brilliant. I'll have to see can we turn him around. Oh yeah, turn, turn him around. Yep, yep, even turn him around. Yep. Without damaging the plants. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, a little, a little bit of collateral damage there, but never mind. Yeah. And out he comes again, over the bits of treated wood, over there, down the ramp, down the slippery slope. There's a little bit of the litter at the bottom, which we haven't sorted yet. But other than that, away we go. And then. The, um, the, it can be replaced. Perhaps you can show us how you replace the... Uh... Okay. I'm sure Put it over the... Um, whether the bolts are. Yes, it's in. The washer goes on. And the nuts. And there we have. Oh, well, yeah, hold it there, yeah. And there it closes. And Carolyn is now firmly in the greenhouse. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, now that we've got the greenhouse actually in operation, um, we're planting up with um, various things, including on this side of the greenhouse, which gets a lot of sunlight, um, tomatoes. And I'm putting in some money maker, which have been grown from a seed. There's also Gardener's Delight, and my favourite of all, which is Sun Gold. Last Ooh. year had a fantastic um, crop from Sun Gold. Yeah. They've, they've all been a bit late this year because it's been so cold, but it's now, what, right at the beginning of May, and it's not too late. They're, 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 they're coming on fine now. And with, if you can see with these little ones here, these interstitial ones, we can take those off because we need to take these side shoots off and we can plant them and there'll be extra tomato plants. Oh, very good. So what kind of tomato do you get on that one? Um, these are sort of orangey colour, mm -hmm. medium size. Yeah. Um, the uh, money maker I think are slightly smaller. What are your top tips for growing good tomatoes then? Because it's something that's seen as being quite difficult to grow. Well, I, I think growing them from seed, if, if you, the big problem is, especially this year, is even if you've got a greenhouse, you've had to bring them in every night because it's been freezing. And if mm -hmm. they freeze, then you've lost them. Yeah. So it's only just about now in May. Even you can get even get them during May, but being in a sheltered spot here in a greenhouse, it should be okay. So yeah. it's, it's fair enough to come now. And I think that you've, you've obviously got to keep them watered. Mm -hmm. And what I do is put uh, have them in very small trays originally, and then potted them up into these. Yep. And they get to a size where you can really put them in the, um, in, the, in the soil. And then you don't feed them until they get a bit bigger than this and uh, feed them with some sort of organic. Sun gold, uh, through trial and error, mm -hmm. sun gold have been absolutely fantastic. I they're, they're more expensive as seeds, but they, mm -hmm. you can just see by the way that they're, they're growing. They're, they're really, um, they're really, really strong plants. Yeah. 
I suppose the main thing is that they're quite nice to eat. <laughs> that is the main thing, isn't it? You want to be able to buy something that you well, can't. Exactly, if it was totally inedible, it'd be yeah. pleasant, wouldn't it? <laughs> but and you, 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 you get, effectively, you get tomatoes right through to the end of September. And you can mm. still eat them near, up to nearly Christmas, we've found. You know, they keep very well. And this, yeah. this last year we had very few green ones because one of the problems is you end up making masses of chutney because we've got all these green tomatoes. But we hardly got any last year, so I don't know whether that's something to do with ah. sun gold or we just, just a bit of luck with the weather, late ripening. Yeah, well, very good. Okay. Well, let's hope these grow well. Thank you. I went to college in South Greenhouse is coming on fine now that we've, uh, we've sorted most things out, including wheelchair access. Tony seems to be digging a grave here. I think he's just double digging. <laughs> anyway, I thought...